it is well it is well in the name of jesus it is well it is well with me in the name of jesus it is well it is well it is well in the name of jesus it is well with my soul today beloved shall be well with your soul today but i i want to start by telling us that when you fast you are bound to be hungry you need self-discipline to overcome the packs of hunger is a natural thing to be hungry but self-discipline will help you to overcome the parks of hunger may the almighty god help you indeed in the mighty name of jesus amen today by the special grace of god we are looking at the topic we are continuing with a topic that says it shall be well Part four, it shall be well, part four. Our Bible passage will be taken from the book of Matthew 17, 14 to 21. It's a long one, so time will not permit us to read it here. But let's quickly go to our memory verse, which is Matthew 17, 21. It says, how be this kind goeth not brought by prayer and fasting it shall be well is what we are looking at but i want to give us a flashback to what we've been doing for the past three days for the past three days our daddy has been discussing with us on three things three important things that we must do this year to boost our success, our abundance, our breakthroughs. And that is, we've talked on living righteous. We thought on praises. We thought on adding prayers. And today, we are going to add fasting to it. May the good Lord help every one of us to partake of this so that we can enjoy all round blessings and wellness in jesus name amen from our bible reading of today we saw the we saw the account of the failure of the disciples to cast out the demon that was responsible for a young man's madness However, when Jesus intervened, the young man was instantly healed. You know, it's very surprising that even some Bible interpretation, they downplay the verse 21 of Matthew chapter 17 and that is where we took as a memory verse we say that how be this one cannot come out but by fasting and prayer they just purposely want to downplay the issue of fasting or the importance of fasting and praying in the life of a Christian that is why they omitted it but we need to know that the word of God is settled forever in heaven. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how much you want to twist your interpretation, one fact remains that the word of God is settled in heaven. According to Psalm 119 verse 89, the word of God is settled in heaven and is settled forever. Our Lord himself did not only pray, he also fasted a great deal. We can go back to read of the Gospels, the Gospel according to Matthew, the Gospel according to Luke. Luke 4, 1, 2, 2 also gave that account. 
my YouTube family, as we pass through this new year, fasting to righteous living, prayers and praises will do you good and the almighty God will help you to experience abundant goodness abundant goodness and they shall be well with you as you do that and I think the Lord has used his life experience of fasting and always tell us boldly to his children to everyone that cares to listen that fasting does not kill and I tell you that fasting does not kill it does not kill the youth out there, my children, everyone, I want people to, to hear that. Fasting does not kill. And food also never finishes, if I may add. So when you fast, after fasting, you do what? You can celebrate. You can wine and dine. But that is taking Drinking something that is good for your body, not a destructive content. So, may we discipline ourselves and add fasting and prayer into our programs. Adding the Lord is will be 82 years soon, within a few months. But nevertheless, he continues in fasting and prayer. And you can see him walk. You can see him do prayer walk in the camp. Clearly meaning that he's stronger than a lot of young people. Things that a lot of young ones cannot do. Even youths. He can do it. How many people can walk for, for 30 minutes? And they will start fainting. May the good Lord help every one of us in Jesus' name. So, Adadin, the Lord is telling us that we can gradually graduate in it. He said that when he was a very young Christian, he was not fasting like that. But, you know, everything needs practice and discipline. And the English people say that practice makes perfect. Say so you can start learning how to fast by skipping breakfast. Skip your breakfast. You can even drink water. No problem. And then eat lunch and dinner. After some time, you get you will get used to skipping breakfast and lunch. And then have your dinner. And from that, you find that at times you can now fast for days, even without breaking in the evening that is self-discipline discipline and also practice may the almighty god help us we saw our lord jesus christ who we are emulating who we want to live like he also fasted say so even though he has the same form of god even though he was a god he didn't think it as anything to do the right things. He had to do that so that we, the human that he has taken our forms, will see the kind of things that he did and we will emulate so. Our Lord Jesus Christ fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and he did not die. Instead, he grew more spiritually. Beloved, I tell you today, Fasting can make you to be weak at times. But it makes you to be spiritually strong. So at the end of the day, you lose nothing. But can I, can I tell you something out of experience? Fasting does not just make one physically weak. I have experienced strength. Also, when I fast, physical strength, believe you me, I have personally, I don't know whether I'm the only one 
that has experienced that. But I'm sure if it's sample opinion, many people do. And I'm sure that in the Lord, he does too. But when I fast, I find out that I gain this energy that I don't know where it is coming from. I find out that I become even physically strong too. Praise the Lord. Also, we should look at the fact that fasting, when you fast, you are bound to be hungry. There is no doubt. You will need a lot of self-discipline to ensure that you do not break your fast prematurely. Self-discipline is the key. When you have self-discipline, you will not break your fast prematurely. May God grant you and I the grace to fast and pray and it shall indeed be well with every one of us throughout the year in Jesus name. Amen. Our hymn for today is a popular hymn that I'm sure every one of us loves and that is take my life and let it be. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in endless praise. Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee let us continue you know to sing that hymn throughout the day and as you sing it i tell you your heart will be merry may the good lord make you to continually rejoice in his presence even as you wait on him may he continually renew your strength like that of an ego but well, before I go, I want to still appreciate all my returning subscribers. I appreciate every one of you a great deal. Thank you, thank you, thank you for counting it worthwhile to visit my channel. For all those who have breathed whether by chance or by accident, I tell you, that is God that directed your footsteps. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. Give me a like if you like this video. Feel free to share with friends and families. And the good Lord will bless you mightily. Do remain blessed and strong. <laughs>